Good afternoon. That was Mrs. Rose's advanced chorus class performing the Alla Mater Friday afternoon. Thank you for tuning in today's. Thank you for tuning in. Today we have details from the volleyball team over the weekend. Details about Friday's virtual day and more. It's Monday, August 24th, and this is MCHSLive.com News. Welcome back. DECA membership is now open. Join the DECA for the 2020 and 2021 school year. Fees have been reduced to $15. Stop by $15. Stop by Miss Harris' room for a form. There will be a DECA competition this year. The deadline to join us is September 4th. If you are interested in being a part of the debate team, come to the first practice on Wednesday at 3.33 p.m. If in the cafeteria, if you have any questions, see Ms. Mahoney in the Freshman Academy or Hannah Cook or Ella Moss. That does it for the announcements. Now let's get the details from around the world in today's AP, AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. People are evacuating the Louisiana coast as two possible hurricanes threaten to close in. Tropical storms Marco and Laura could both grow to hurricane strength and bring heavy rain, winds, and a storm surge to the area. Three massive wildfires are tearing their way through the dry landscape of Northern California. Many smaller fires are also burning throughout the state, and nearly a quarter million people are under evacuation orders and warnings. A scaled-down version of the Republican Convention is set to begin in Charlotte, North Carolina on Monday. Delegates plan to hold an in-person roll call to formally nominate President Trump for another term in office. Kellyanne Conway announced she's leaving the White House at the end of the month. She's one of President Trump's most influential and longest-serving advisors and cited a need to spend more time with her children. Rita Foley, The Associated Press, with AP Newsman. I'm Jada Cooper from the MCHS Weather Center. Your afternoon forecast looks like for continued showers throughout tonight with temperatures in the low 80s. We will also continue to track Tropical Storm Marco as it hits west for Louisiana and Texas. And we will also continue to track Tropical Storm Laura as it is expected to turn to a hurricane. Hey, it's Anna Kate from the MCHS Marketing Class. Don't forget to stop by the doghouse to purchase your snacks, drinks, and merchandise. Also, don't forget to practice social distancing, wear your mask, and stay safe around the school. Go dogs! I'm Jada Cooper from the MCHS Weather Center. Your afternoon forecast. The Lady Dogs hope to get this game and despite the weather forecast. Make sure to check out our social media channels for any changes to the schedule for tonight's game. Saturday, the volleyball team traveled to Athens Academy for a play day with Clark Central, Winder Barrow, and Athens Academy. The Lady Dogs opened the day with a 25-14, 25-18 win against Clark Central, Brooke Butler, and Mackenzie Pitzler, led the team in kills. The Lady Dogs later fell to Athens Academy 24-26 and 21-25. Gracie Christian and Addie Christian led the team in digs. Finally, the ladies took on Winder Barrow and it took three sets to knock out, knock of the double G Bulldogs. 25-18, 18-25, and 15-7, Anna Cox had 15 digs and 14 assists during this match. The ladies head back to Athens Academy tomorrow to take on Walnut Grove and Athens Academy in a tri-match. The ladies are gearing up to open region plan on Thursday. If you are interested in joining the swim team this season, you must join the Google Classroom to stay up to date on the team and preseason activities. The code to join the classroom is 6AR4L4P. If you need something else, you should go see Mr. St. John and ask him about the hot wing eating contest in 2012 that went way wrong. Finally, the MCHS cross country team hosts their first home meet of the season this Saturday. There will be 20 teams from around the state competing at one of the hardest courses in the state. The meet starts at 8.30 with the Varsity Boys followed by the Varsity Girls 
their meet will happen at Heritage Park on the other side of the bypass. Come out and support the dogs. That does it for Sports Today. Cole, you have the latest on the updated school schedule. That's right, Riley. Last week, the system announced an update to the school schedule on Friday. This Friday will be a virtual day. That means you will not come to school on Friday, but you will have work to do. Teachers have been encouraged to create assignments that and lessons that will be that will take about 30 minutes to complete. So while we aren't at school, there is work. Not a huge amount of work, so you can get it done and get to get your weekend started. Almost Monday who will be a virtual day. Again, there will be assignments for you that will be great in the grade book. So please don't think it's a day off. Teachers will discuss their expectations with you throughout the week. That does it that's about does it for today's show but before we go we need to get your afternoon going with the joke of the day what do you call birds that always stick together <laughs> velcros thanks for watching today's show check out who work behind the scenes to make it possible join us tomorrow for the latest from around mchs including details from tonight's softball game and at green buyer have a great day and always go dogs.